Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I am your host today, Ben. And of course, today, I am joined by the man to my left. He is the man who is the new star of Braggio on Fox, Bragg. Hello! Uh, the Fox deal is still worked out. Uh, they're not paying, I might go to Netflix. Netflix won't take me. Keep an eye on Netflix. Oh, maybe they will. And of course, to my right, the man, the myth, the person who buys cards two days before a ban list, Harry. So, dude. Catch him on Crunchyroll. Yeah. He is coming to Crunchyroll soon, along with all the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime that you can possibly dream of. If you talk to him long enough, subtitles come <laughs> under him. Yes. So the subtitles aren't in English. We don't quite know whose subtitles oh, they are, uh. but yeah, they just appear. Um, but yeah, let's talk about our weeks in Yu-Gi-Oh! So first off, Harry, how was your week? Yeah, it was alright. Um, played Tuesday night. Um, I was testing the virtual world with the uh, rollback in Mayakashi. It was absolutely atrocious. Um, I was trying the adventure engine as a, a part of it because it also helps get cards out of the hand, mm-hmm. get them into rotation. The whole point being, roll back target the Mayakashi, neither play against special summon monsters except for the grave until yeah. the end of the turn. So you lock your opponent out and then just big board next turn and win. It was terrible. I went home after the second round because I just was not feeling it after that. Um, I've since unsleeved it. Uh, the rollback is sitting somewhere on my desk. I, I will be listing it for sale. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of yeah. here. <laughs> we're, we're done. Low well, price coming. <clears throat> but I'm, glad, I'm glad someone did it though. Thank you. I, I had to try. I, at no point did the the lines I ever took result in making a Beatrice to begin with. So it, it, I just never got there. Yeah. Like I got interacted in some way. Um, my, my hands are absolutely garbage as well. Um, round one, game one and game two, I opened double Chuche. It was like, y- no, you don't want that. And then after that, I just, yeah, it just wasn't enjoyable. I'm like, ah, oh, I'll put it away. <laughs> and then um, today I played Branded for the first time in an event. Um, I've owned the deck before, but sold it and then got it off Chad for dirt cheap. Because like, my plan was to just max rarity it. Just, yep. just, just as something to do. Yep. And it turns out the deck's good. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, just who would guess? Getting to turn skip your opponent's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've gone from uh, rollback Mayakashi, so I've gone from two cards to puppet. And even <laughs> if you don't get the puppet off, you just have any like many other win cons it's where you're like, oh, oh you... my opponent's out of resources, and I just still have a brand of use and they haven't resolved. Well, that's it. Off like, <laughs> uh, with. With Ash coming out of a lot of people's main decks, not so much at locals, but like on a grander scale, like even even playing it at locals today, my branded fusion just didn't get ashed at all. Yeah. Like I didn't have crossouts in the main. Like they probably will go back in, but it's, it's I'm struggling for space. Hmm. I don't own thrust, so I can't play the thrust talent fusion duplication package. So I'm just like, here's the patchwork engine. Here's three talents, and like that's it. Figure it out. Yeah, it went all right. right. Yeah, um, lost round one to Leo because my first time playing in the in in an event, so I've just, you know missed a couple of things like the Lubellian tribute Albion get branded lost into rotation, and then the Albion engraved to yep. find a thing. Like, right I, I still got the Albion engraved, right. but I just missed a step where I would have gotten there regardless. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so like I would have had the same hand board, but with our uh, with branded lost set, and then a branded in red for follow up. Yep. yep. So, lost, lost round one. Uh, sorry, well, sorry. Round one was against Lucas playing Kashtira, and I won that because um, he can't judgment branded fusion if lost is in play. So yes. that's just good. And then um, round two, lost to Leo. Uh, round three, I lost to Labyrinth because I made the mistake of leaving the field spell in rotation. It, was just, it starts picking you apart. He was just able to loop it yeah. with the, the Welcome Labyrinth. I, I have no no familiarity with that matchup, so that's yeah. that's on me. That's just a knowledge check. Um, Guardian Chimera is pretty good, but then the Labyrinth, Labyrinth doesn't target. So it's yep. just like once 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 he cleared the rest of my board, he's just like, oh, see yeah. you later. And then, yeah, and then I lost to, I lost round four to um, Andrew playing Magis because the the deck just searches um, Secret Village. Yeah, yep. and Secret Village is you, and you're like, oh. And in neither of the games did I open Cartesia or Quem. It was like three spellcasters in the forty six card main deck. And I just didn't, didn't see him. Like, <laughs> sick. My opening hand was like, called by branded opening, branded fusion, a Luber and something else. It's like, does normal summon Albaz remove? 
the spellcasters on his field? Is there a not, way to not, remove Not them? all of them, no. So, okay. like, the the play there would be to... Uh, normal Albaz pitch a thing. Uh, <coughs> the fuse into... Uh... I, no, that's, cause like what you want to try and do is uh, you can get to Titanoclad and then try and put it in the bin. So then that way Titanoclad. Uh, so, no, you want to you want to mirror jade, make mirror jade, yep. dump Titanoclad. Titanoclad in the end phase summons a Dogmatica. Uh, Quave is a Dogmatica and a Despia for reasons, and she's can, a spellcaster. So can any, you summon the mirror jade and then just mirror jade banish the field spell? Uh, no, mir monster. Mirror jade monster. Yeah. Okay. And he would typically end on three monsters or two? Uh, he ended on the the Link, just a rogue Magi, and the Ixie's um, Pendulum thing. Okay, so three. Yeah. Three spellcasters, so you can't just go like, summon the Mirror Jade, banish one, and yeah. you still got one. But the problem is, one. he's also got the um, the the Cyclone set. I think it's the, the Cyclone. Okay. The, the trap that banishes. Yep, yep, yep. So like, my plan was Albaz to Mirror Jade, dump Titanicloud, get Quem into rotations, just like, normal Albaz. Pitch one uh, gets banished. I can't resolve it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Normal draw. <laughs> Normal summon. Draw That's my like, only plan. Yeah. Plan. Yeah. <laughs> like I play enough spellcasters that I'm like, well, I'm glad to see something. But, yeah. But like, um, like, despite yeah, statistically not doing well, I played the deck better than I had expected to either. Yep. Like, because I've just been watching video after video of just like replays and matches and just like guides and things like that just to really get familiar with the deck before playing it. Yep. And, yeah, like, I'm happy with how it plays. I like that it's just nothing but gas. 90% of the time. And then there's just times where it's just like, no, nah, you're just not playing. You're looking at four combo pieces that require you to resolve the branded fusion to take an action. Yeah. It's like, you've got like Adlib, Mercuria and like three other things and it's like, yeah, okay. Well, oh, no, sorry. Oh no, I was going to say, well that, that was basically my week. I'm still deciding whether it's going to be branded or runic for hire for the YCS but I'm confident enough in my ability to play uh, runic that I don't, need don't, to don't really need to test it. Until like the night before YCS, yes, if that's my if that's my play. Yeah, yeah, which <coughs> makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Go Rooney. <laughs> be be that first. Oh, speaking of Rooney, um, Jesse's looking at doing Runic stun yeah. for oh, OTS gosh. champs and for YCS. <laughs> just, just do it. He was talking about doing that with the um the adventure stuff because you normal Amano Owado and then the end phase it can't bounce because you can't activate the effect. Oh, yeah, even yeah. even though it's a spirit monster and it's a mandatory return, yeah, it still can't matter, activate because it's, it's yeah. normal summon. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like the spirit monsters were terribly designed. <laughs> Except now they work. Uh, Brag, how was your week in the year? Uh, Did you have a week in the year? Oh, a bit of Master Jewel. Uh, bought some bought some stuff from Plenty of Games in Melbourne. Check it out if you're over there. I appreciate that store. He did uh, give a big recommendation when he came home. He's like, have you ever been to Plenty of Games? And I was like, no, is it? I yeah. recommend it. So I've, I've never even been to Melbourne. So. They uh, they do a crazy thing where they uh, they've hired staff. Oh, that, that's nice. And so one can run a tournament, one can do uh, general stuff, and one can do singles. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. That's that's impressive. It's almost like with, with multiple staff, you can have plenty of games <laughs> and plenty of ways to make money. But no, uh. you're you're paying three people. That's not possible. Yeah, look, <laughs> minimum wage. Uh, and then in Master Jewel, it's just same old. I, I'm uh, there was a I was going to entertain the idea of doing Snake Eyes Gate Guardian for YCS. There was a, a one percent because that's what I've been running. It's it's crap. It bricks, and I'm like, oh, it's what I know. No, it bricks way too much for me to justify. So. Is, is there a synergy? Like I'm not familiar with the. Oh, uh, uh, they they appreciate being continuous spells. Uh, okay. okay, so. There's a there's a little you can kind of go oh come back and batch. yeah you just... and also they're free pitches as well for yeah. the rest of the engine so okay. for the most part it is just the snake eyes going off and just doing their thing and he's going oh I can get I two can't merge, put this back <laughs> they do have two negate like one of their bodies is two negates and floats back into another one like they they, they aren't the worst cards they just brick <laughs> I don't know how you I don't know how you unbrick the deck. And it's, it sucks. And I guess that's I guess that's the trade off. Where if you have three negates, two negates, and one pop, that also turns into something. There has to be something. So don't play Gay Guardian because I'm not. Uh, probably going to play a, a pile of fire cards at OTS, and I don't know what I'm doing for YCS. 
So I've got to really settle on that. I was going to do voiceless voice. I'm still going to, I'm going to buy the deck because that's what I do. But I'm just not feeling confident on it. Okay. And I will get to why I'm not feeling confident on it. We will get at that very shortly. There we go. Um, but for me, this week, uh, Tuesday night was fine. I went X1. Uh, I It was a pretty forgettable night. I don't in particular remember my matchups and how I won and who I lost to. I know I lost to Jake um, because, yeah, I just kind of just forgot how to play who? against Branded. Yeah, exactly. No, I don't know how to play against Branded. I just forgot like all of their grave interactions. I was like, yeah, I can deal with the field and forgot about the grave. And I was like, ah, yeah, we well, was like, oh, that's right. They also play from the grave. Yeah, uh, I had like four ways to game and chose none of them. So I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Awesome. Good work by me. Um, today I won locals though. Uh, the longest game I played was 25 minutes. Uh, <laughs> there was a little time where I was just like, I'm done. We we're waiting for the next one. I like it. He's like, oh, one quickly. Now I was like, two people are coming next week with Runic. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, rather interestingly, I was like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my list. I upped it to 43 cards, and today, to be fair, the three cards that I put in and put it up to 43 uh, didn't come up at all. Oh, it came, sorry, it came up once, and it was game. It was talents. I put talents in my main deck. Yeah. I put yeah. two copies of talents and one for one. Uh, at no point did I brick on Fire King stuff. Very happy with that. Uh, and yeah like at first I was like oh we'll, we'll cover it in a second but Jesse Cotton's playing above 40 in his list oh, okay. and then when I went through the rest of the lists they were all just playing above 40 and I was like it makes sense you're playing some bricks why would you not play above 40 cards so well, we're well, back well, to well, like 12, 12 starters like yeah exactly 3 back wanted 3 Deer Bell Star 3 Ash 3 Bonfire I have cut the uh, Deer Bell Star is just a one oh it's just a one of okay yeah but there's the one for one's there with the hand traps yeah it does all of its things. Um, yeah, happy with the list. I can't wait till next weekend where I bomb out of the OTS champs again. But uh, it doesn't matter that much because we're getting to the news section where they have announced uh, Oceanic Championships for the Australasian region. Is that Oceania? Mm -hmm. That's it. Oceania Championships for the Oceania. Um, Do they even write anything in Fiji? Don't think so. OTS tours and tournaments in Fiji. Hit us up. If you play in Fiji, Bragg will go. <laughs> no it's, every time I go to think I can go to Fiji I'm like oh I can also go to Japan I'm just going to go there exactly <laughs> uh, which brings us to my dilemma do I just spend the money to go to Japan instead of paying to go to New Zealand for our Oceanics because that's where it is yeah I just don't have the motivation to spend all that money yeah I like as, as much as I want to go like, Oceanics was in New Zealand two years ago. Yeah. Like, I get the whole switching one to the other, one to the other, one to the other. But, like, there's a dramatically less, like, smaller player base. You're, you're asking so much more of the player base to travel overseas and yeah. find accommodation. Yeah. Than... I, like, we did the two years ago for fun. I don't really want to do it two years again. Uh, like, again, <laughs> well, you, if, if you were doing it every, se if it was every second year in Auckland, it's like, I can't, just can't be going there every I second I liked it year. every three years. What happened? Every three years is good. Wait, where was it last year? Brisbane? Brisbane, yeah. yeah. That shit hole. That's yeah, right. so I, I said, this one I was like, oh cool, no Brisbane, and they won't do they won't do New Zealand. This might be somewhere that's easier or I better. I thought for sure they'd be doing Melbourne, but no. Yeah, Instead, Melbourne. I'd rather go to Melbourne than Brisbane and Auckland. On my list of four vent places where they host Oceanics, it is second place on my list. Give Wollongong a run, come on. No, give us Oceanics. The one, venues what, here. the one staff member from Good Games can run it. Oh, we're not going yeah. through. It's like, this has to be run, like, by, you know, themselves. Oh, do they... So, when they do the New Zealand ones, are they yep. running through a store there? Uh, I don't believe so. I would imagine they have their own venue. Yeah. It, it's, it's run oh. at the race course. Yeah, yeah. Although they so, haven't confirmed more the if... venue yet. They've just confirmed the location. Oh. Because uh, I was going to book the hotel across the road from the venue on, like, a... You can cancel it the right before. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then I realized they hadn't announced the venue, and then it sold out. So I was like, eh, it's okay. Um, but then I realized I don't have my invite yet anyway, so like... Yeah. Eh. All of a sudden, I don't give a shit about going to the regionals, because I don't really want to try to go to New Zealand. If I get my invite next week at OCS Champs, cool. Other than that, I'd rather just put my effort into YCS and, and not really worry about going to New Zealand. Yeah. Who knows? I could change my tune in three months, but hey... Other things in life are more important. Is it Lightsworn format? It'll be Lightsworn format. 
Bloodsworn and, uh, yeah, Infernoid, as uh, we oh, have recently found out yeah. uh, from our next round of news. Uh, they have confirmed a release date for our next Battles of Legend pack, uh, Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge, which is the Terminal World Battles of yeah, Legend. Yeah. Instead of just getting the Terminal World pack, we're getting Battles of Legend With, Terminal World. Yeah. Uh, and that includes all the things that we saw earlier in the Terminal World pack at the start of January, or end of January that set came out. Yeah. Because that we weirdly got that all announced like well in advance. Um, Infernoid is of course the, the best deck to come out of that. There is some murmurings of, of Kurt whispering in the corner about playing Ice okay. Barriers. Yeah, because uh, the, the, the Ice Barrier level 2 and the I think it's a continuous spell just goes into Sprite or something. Yeah. Does it's just another little level 2 engine. Yeah. Play. Although maybe it might end on a thing that stops you from being targeted or something because it's Ice Barriers and half of them do that. Look, half Sprite's going to Sprite games. and Sprite will sometimes top 32 YCSs but I don't want to think about Sprite outside of that. Yeah, we'll see what happens uh, at this wise, yes. But yeah, uh, odds on, if we see a hit come to Snake Eyes, we'll probably start to see that deck transition into Infernoid. Mm. Or it'll just remain pure. Yeah. Or it'll remain Fire King. We'll probably see a Fire King hit though next. Just hit that fire, hit the starter deck and then have people play the, the pure. But we'll cover that in a few weeks when we get to our Banley's predictions. Uh, oh, yeah, then that's coming up. Next bit of news, uh, we have we had the uh, UDS Championships last weekend. With the bling bling. Yeah, with the uh, Jesse Cotton walking away with the ring. Yes. Yeah, the very nice looking the, ring. The Super Bowl looking thing. Yeah, he got his own <laughs> Super Bowl ring. He doesn't get his own tailor though. No. No. References. Yes. Um, so, of course, he was playing... How many Viking. times was uh, Taylor shown on the UDS coverage? Ooh. <laughs> Maybe five Just cutting to Cotton's girlfriend, just some six. random person sitting there is like, can we go home? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here. Yeah, can you stop winning? Time. I want to go home. Um, so yeah, he of course came in first place with Fire King, uh, I wouldn't say Fire King Rescue Ace. No, with uh, Fire King Snake Eyes. Yep. Uh, beat Pure in the final. Yeah. The, the event was relatively dominated by Snake Eyes. But like we were yeah we're top three with snake eye yeah. builds and one other what was the other it was other? Branded. branded is that yeah. the list you're playing are you playing Taurus's list oh uh, not not card for card I'm, pl I'm playing the patchwork engine because that's what I saw from his list yep. but um I don't have the the thrusts for the fusion duplication but I'm thinking because there's been talk about droll not being that impactful now with like, how snake eye plays I'm like with people dropping it from the main and or side do I just go for the triple Mercurio, triple Allure package with the branded just sword and get, get the greedy. Get, get the draw three and just, yeah. just you know put them on gotta have it I'm sorry you, you told you cut, cut draw okay off I go just, yeah well, that's <laughs> it it's to consider anyway but then it's like I just get mad punished if they do have it and how do you play around Andrew can't yeah. cut draw yeah. I yeah it's I you can play through draw but you can also like snake eyes can play through every hand tracking <laughs> format yeah everyone like, it punishes them a little bit. Yeah, it's like, like it's just you've got to just chip away at like at the moments, and obviously it's not going to be great. But every other hand trap could not be good in a certain situation. So it just kind of it seems weird to cut a card for situational badness when it's just fine, and also completely destroys heaps of other decks. Leo won a game round one today, where it was opening hand it was Ash Imperm. Uh, it was either it was like Ash Imperm Vela or. Maybe the Imperm was a Ghost Mourner, but yeah, he's got three hand traps, uh, enemy controller talents. That was his opening hand in that game, and he still won it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you make it work. You stop your opponent from playing th through four interactions, and then steal whatever they have. Oh, you just you're like I only have one card. You know, just now it's my top deck Snake Eye Ash is just like it works. That's all it takes. Yeah. Or in the mirror, you just fuck you normal summon a hand trap. And yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Econ, take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Off I go. Um, so yeah, we're, we're very clearly in the realm of fire. All the best players are playing it. There was, like, a weird contingent of cash Tira that kind of floated through. Oh, I mean, because, I mean, well, Fenrir, Fenrir is still a three, right? I'm not going yeah, crazy. Yeah, still three. Because it is a good cut. Three. Like, you look at that and go, if this, if this was an XE, people would be tempted to make this. Yeah. Yeah. But, this is rank seven. it's just, it's just a straight up monster that you can just summon. And then replace itself. Like... Yeah. I keep think I keep going. No, nah, there's no way this should still be a three. Like yeah, probably should. Again, and like a topic for a future bandless discussion, <laughs> where uh, we forget to do the scores afterwards. But we forget about it because five can just sneak through. Like the rest of cash kind of sucks. 
Fenrir though. Fenrir good. Both. Yeah. Both good against um, Brandon. Yeah, because they you just banish the shit face down that they send off brain fusion. Maybe that's what it was doing. Brandon was just killing everything else. Not Maybe. Brandon. The cashier was killing everything else. Maybe. Uh, but that then brings us to our next major event. Uh, at the moment, we have UDS going on. Oh, not UDS. No, like, YCS, team. Team YCS Vegas. Team YCS Vegas, yeah. Um, team YCS. So at the end of day one, I have the deck breakdown for what is still left going into day two. Uh, surprise, surprise. It is like 75% Snake Eyes. Yep. I haven't run the numbers, but run yeah, the numbers. very heavy on the Snake Eyes. Uh, we did see a fairly good contingent of Voiceless Voice being put on the stream. Yeah. Because uh, Konami's trying to very clearly push Voiceless Voice as a deck that you can purchase in the latest pack. Uh, yep. Unfortunately, it is not very good. It's fine. It's fine against heaps of decks. It just sucks against Snake Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it seemed as though they were like, we can just, if we keep putting it on stream, it'll beat one of these rogue decks that we did yeah. against it. I mean, it doesn't... It, it's a yeah. It's Snake Eyes is definitely better, and vo but Voiceless Voice can win, and someone can really like you can pilot it out. But also it's, the ceiling's so low. Yeah. It's like oh okay, and here's the people like Dynam the Dynamondo play. I don't think it's the play. I think that's what's catching a lot of people off because it opens you up. So and that plays into a lot of hand traps, doesn't it? It plays in a lot of hand traps, but also. It, it, just renews your resources and gets you stuff. Like, I, it's a good card. I appreciate the flexibility, but I think a lot of people just auto Dynamondo without going, mm, I probably should just pass here. Yeah. But like, we'll see. What do I know? Does not having the protection just infinitely better? The low and the... Yeah. The and ritual. Just, yeah. Sure. Um, but for the deck breakdown, uh, we have a staggering 49 Fire King Snake Eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 29 Pure Snake Eyes. Then no other deck is above 10 in the representation count. It is uh, 8 Voiceless Voice. Uh, that is six, uh, 4 Flunderies. 2 Kashtira, or 3 Kashtira. Uh, 2 Despia Branded. 1 Marincess. 1 Snake Eyes Kashtira. 1 Raid Raptor Kashtira. 1 Pure Raid Raptor. Uh, 1 Mana Diem. 1 Labyrinth. 1 Vanquish Soul. 1 Rescue Ace Snake Eye. And 1 Rescue Ace Sinful Spoils. Someone mustn't just be playing the uh, oh yeah, just the that flame version package and everything. Yeah, just playing the get you to standard rescue ace. Yeah, yeah. I would say that's pure rescue ace. Probably. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like like there's heaps of stuff in rescue ace where it's like you didn't call it. Well, you don't call it a. What was the other? What was the other um, text in rescue ace last? Before uh, this. War. No, you just run pure. You yeah. just pure the whole time. He's pure fire yeah, fight. I didn't play any of the synchro package or anything. Yeah. I mean, I guess we did call it Sync. Yeah. Yeah. Sync or Rescue Ace. Coming to a... Almost. I mean, Team team YCS is, is really hard to assess. I would like to see but another YCS before going... Is this Marincess play getting carried? The Raid Raptor player? Maybe not, because we did see it top of regional recently, so... Who knows? That's maybe carrying his own teammates. Goddamn Raid Raptors. Um, very surprising to see it this dominant. Like, it's, it's a good deck, Snake Eyes. Yeah. But, like... The next best deck is eight, and it's a voiceless voice, like, which is good. On but the pie chart, it is. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. They they I mean it's what happens when we have two sets of uh, engages for a deck, like yeah. We it's just mega so like this is what happens when a deck just gets a million support you didn't even need the three spells engraved to get the bonus draw <laughs> you just have to wait an action yeah that's it like that what happened today like at one point today i did, was doing full combo and then went oh yeah uh, banish draw ah oh, it's bonfire cool awesome let's go yeah because i at this point i'd started my combo with normal summon poplar so then i like had recycled everything i was like uh bonfire add the poplar summon the poplar uh, gives me an extra body. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love. I, like, I love doing Poplar that way, which comes up in Fire Pile or Hellfire Pile. Surprisingly good card. Um, but yeah, that's that's what things look like. It'd be interesting to see how this shapes out. Probably see it probably shaping out as heavy on the Snake Eyes. Uh, rather interestingly, the top, uh, well, the third most represented deck, fourth most represented deck, and fifth most represented deck are all Shifter decks. 
Yeah. So how far is Shifter oh, yeah, carrying? Oh yeah, Flounder's alright. Have I said this before? Voiceless. Did I, yeah, did I yeah. rep Flounder a couple weeks ago? Not that bad. Not but too bad this point. Even, you're not tempted to go. Even back, uh, Vanquish Soul getting through as well. That yeah. like I think they're just on Shifter now. Shifter what it there. takes for them to compete. Can Lab play Shifter? I don't think so. With like the rollbacks and whatnot. No, that's valid. Yeah. Can't believe he's turned his back on Bird Brain. Uh, better deck. Oh yeah. But. No, no summon barrier statute. No for me. True. <laughs> I, I don't have an auto win card. I can just go. I'm out. But, yeah, I guess Shifter isn't that auto win. It's not it. It's a little auto win. Not pretty auto win. Not barrier auto win. Not when you pass and your opponent doesn't have anything yeah, <laughs> and they true. pass back to you. Yeah. I did see that happen today with a. I think it was a voiceless voice player. He got shifted. I oh, used the shifter and then just passed and his opponent passed back to him and he went, I passed back to you and just lost. <laughs> um, <laughs> rather interestingly, at the Team YCS, we have uh, new merch. I don't know if you can see this very well on camera, but there is a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tumblr with a speaker in the bottom of it. Tumblr. Uh, probably is custom ordered from AliExpress. Uh, they've just gotten the Yu-Gi-Oh! logo and slapped it on. Got the laser burner in thingy where you can yeah. just go... Yeah, yeah they've just gone... Off we go. Um, I want this. Uh, <laughs> Jerome, if you want to send this to me, uh, that would be appreciated. I noticed you weren't on commentary this weekend. I hope you're okay. What? Um, I heard him. I saw him in like pre-recorded things, but I didn't see him commentating any game. I could swear I heard him with Billy. And he, like, Billy was being great as he always is. And then he said something like, Shut up, Jerome! That's but it okay, could be someone who sounds like him. Jerome, I hope you're doing okay. Um, on that note, I appreciate how mad Billy gets at people who slow play. <laughs> He just he it's like great. he it, it's he started off a few like a while ago just mentioning it, but now he just has no chill, and he yeah. just starts berating him, going, "No, if you're here, like you should be better than this." The semi final of the UDS, he was going mad. He was going yeah. mad. He's like, "He needs to hurry up." Like he's play, he's 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 got it figured out. He needs to hurry up. There's, and then he gets DQ for slow play. It's like, go yeah, it, That that match was so egregious. Like it I, was bad. Like, at one point he made a joke, it was like 45 minutes in, he's like, we are 45 minutes into the game and we've played six turns. Oh my god. I was like, that's, that's a good way to be passive-aggressive, Billy, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love to see it. Um, in terms of giant cards available oh to you in Las my Vegas, god. Uh, we have Ubel, uh, Defender of Forever. Yeah. Um, oh, the loving Defender of Forever. Yeah. Uh, we have Promethean Princess. Oh. I heard a rumor that we're getting no, this for oh, our No, it's, it's on our page now. We are yet. also getting this card. means yeah. there's the, two in circulation. On the Friday. Which means I'll pay you 10 bucks for it. <laughs> on the Friday. Um, then we have... The Monarchs. The Monarch Trio. Are they giant or are they oversized? They look oversized. Ah, cool. Giant. If the next one was giant, I'm going to cry. But if it's they oversized, are, I'll cry. They are listed as giants. Um, so that's probably the reward for the Time Wizard event. Is the three Monarchs. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yep. Uh, then for... The Speed Dual Giant card, uh, we have Gear Free, the Iron Knight, and Thousand Eyes Restrict. Um, I saw the guy that won Thousand Wait. Eyes Restrict. Looked like a top fella. Um, you uh. could also have... They're doing public ticket exchange. So there's a bunch of giant cards available for public exchange. A uh, bunch of giant cards and oversized cards. For giant cards, they've got BLS, uh, Ecclesia, uh, Enchantress, and the Punk Synchro. Oh, yeah. uh, for the oversized cards, they've got... Oh, those Monarchs are definitely just oversized cards, yeah. not giant cards. In this picture, they definitely look... Is it is it Punk Jam Dragon Drive, or is it... Um, the... uh, it is Dragon Drive, yeah. So it's chilling over here. No, that's um, Oop. that's Ukiwi, the that's the other one. That's, oh, is it? That's the, the, that's the 11, not, okay. not the 8. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, sick. Um, then for the oversized, they've got Pot of Greed. Uh, they've got Stardust Dragon, the Alt Art. Gross. Uh, Gizno the Machine, uh, the, the Machine Menace, not regular Gizno, and then Gizmic, the, the Fire Gizmic. Oh. Like, well, it is the year of fire. Gis but it, it's also like the eye gas version. Yeah. Did oh. they just have this sitting in a warehouse? Yeah. Just like, ah, get it out there. Um, yeah, some interesting ones here. The Bur like, the Ecclesia is the Burst of Destiny version as well. Huh. Um, <laughs> then you've got the BLS, was Toon Chaos. Oh, there's also uh, Demok in Dusa. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's Dusa already, so we don't like that. In the bin. Um, also, like normal, they have like the sheets of Starlights and stuff. They've done it. Oh, they have the stamps on them, so you can cut them out at home and play them if you want to. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of playmats. They did announce as well that we have the Pot of Greed playmat now um, for Winamats. 
I might try and pick that up at YCS if we have it. I might grind some winner mats. If yeah. I see someone maybe wins one and sells one for 50 or 60 bucks, I'll be like, yeah, sure. Yeah, give it if it's shot. in Logan's judge pack, I will just take it off him. <laughs> you know, the usual things. Robbed. Uh, well, that is that. Uh, going back. now to, yeah, yeah. I guess, more card-based news. We've already covered our Terminal World news because Brad gave me an excellent segue. Uh, we have confirmed effects for the uh, the new U-Bell card. Um, so new U-Bell and Summon Skull. Uh, it's just a sarcophagus of light target again. The oh, Summon Skull. Of yeah. Um, type 1 monster, your opponent controls, take control of it until the end phase. Uh, if you do not control Gold Sarcophagus of Light, that monster cannot attack. Uh, other monsters you control gain 500 attack. So take something, makes it 500 bigger. If you've got the Gold Sarcophagus, off you go. Um, you don't have to pay its tribute summon cost if you have the Gold Sarcophagus okay. of Light as well. You just go slap it on the board, off we go. Uh, and then we have the fusion for Ubel, Phantom of Ubel, uh, Ubel monster and a fiend with zero attack. Must be special summoned from your extra deck by shuffling the cards from your hand, field, or graveyard into the deck or extra deck. Rather interestingly, it does mention like hand to deck. So you can just go, uh, here is my Ubel and yeah. other card. I'm putting them back now. Here is the fusion on the board. It's cute. I guess Ubel's a brick, so like, <laughs> away, away it goes. It's also one Ubel monster, not just Ubel. Yeah, right. Um, cannot be destroyed by battle. You also take no battle damage from battles of with this card. Uh, then if your opponent activates a monster effect, tribute this card, and the effect becomes destroy one Ubel monster. Uh, your opponent destroys one Ubel monster in their hand, deck, or field. So you put two cards from your hand back in the deck, summon to your board, your opponent does something, you go, I am destroying from deck now. Off we go. Hmm. So, it's cute. Cute card, considering it's, it's free to summon in the deck. Like, yeah. Like, why not play it? Um, then we have our next V-Jump promo was announced. It is going to be an Ancient Gear Dragon. So, we will see how this goes. The card will be revealed proper March 7th. So we will talk about it in our YCS recap. Interesting until we're going to get more Ancient Gear cards. Hopefully it's good. My Ancient Gear... As much as I don't like Ancient Gear, Ancient Gear has a lot of people that like that deck. I've and always been a fan of the art, but the playstyle has just, like, never really existed beyond... I'm going to attack and you can't activate your back row. Piercing. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, you can just search box and box gets you other things. It's the most useful thing it's ever done. I was about to say, like, as a... Like Earth Machine player, uh, blister into box, box into uh, tunneler, and then I'm gonna just pot of avarice. Right. You seeming like you found us something? So no, no, I was checking the Promethean Princess stuff from before, because um, yep. I was just checking what the other <coughs> uh, the, 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 the giant cards were. Uh, it has giant card, speed jewel card, Promethean Princess bestower of flames. We're getting speed duels, Promethean but it has, Princess, it has reprint set, it, confirmed. It even has the set code of it, though. It has the Phantom Nightmare set code. Phantom so, Nightmare going to speed duel confirmed. Weirdly right typoed. Here, right uh, yeah, place. we also get Giant Yubel, Loving Defender, and Giant Black Rose. Ah, oh, so we're just getting the same two. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's fine. Is it is. Then they're neat cards to get, so sure. Um, then we had the final reprints or the card lists confirmed for uh, the Unity and... Uh, Unity and fight. Unity and something? Soul? Something. I've clicked Unity twice, so hey, here we are. Mm. Um, Unity and... Oh, it's Unity and the Unity remaining reprints. So they've announced, like, the whole set. Oh, oh. okay. Um, Non-surprisingly, Unity has, like, all the Dark Magician cards, a whole bunch of Elemental Hero cards, uh, a bunch of Destiny Hero cards, the Vision Heroes, pretty much everything a protagonist or someone associated to them has played. Uh, like Utopia's Double or Nothing reprint. I actually think we need that. I don't think it has a reprint yet. Didn't it? Um, well, Utopia Double. Oh. Had, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't right. know if that's had a reprint yet for us. So yeah, if yeah. we get this pack, there's your reprint. A uh, bunch of Ordai's cards, of course. Uh, rather interesting as well. We're also getting. It, ke it keeps going. So we go into, like, your. The Pendulum Graph in there. Signet stuff. Oh, oh, oh um, ew. Pendulum Graph Dragon? Yeah. It is not from what I can see. Time Pendulum Graphs here. Yeah. Uh, Otto's Arc Pendulum Dragon is here. Uh, Ancient Gears, U Bell Ancient Star. Gear Golem. Uh, Burning Abyss getting a reprint. In Unity? Yep. Why? Catch your Burning Abyss cards. I don't know. Nelfies are here. Uh, oh, as sure. Well as... So I really. So, oh my god, this is just. What set are they going to cram this into? It's strange. 
But oh, will this be... Um, well, this isn't going to be the Anniversary Collection too, is it? Rar rarity Collection? Anniversary. Sorry, uh, yeah, Rarity Collection no, It's a 200 card set. Yeah, no way. No. Um, rather interestingly, we've got like the meta-relevant cards at the bottom. Uh, so they're reprinting IP Mascarena, Goddess, yeah. uh, Beyond yeah. the Pendulum, uh, Regeki Dark Hole, Poly. Oh, is that all the alt arts? Uh, probably. Yeah, because that yeah. Regeki alt art with the Slipper. It is Slipher, isn't it? Yeah. Osiris. Wherever you are. Yes. Uh, and then some sneaky reprints that they had missed that they have already been added to the last page that I just read. So don't need to worry about that. It was just Electromite and the meta relevant cards. At the yeah, time. right. Were the last of the sneaky cards getting stuck into the set? Um, so soon I'm sure they'll announce the other one. So Unity and whichever the other set is. I don't know what they're going to put in all that considering there was antagonist cards in this set as well. As but it was, I mean, the Blue Eyes wasn't in there, so they'll find the Blue that. Blue Eyes wasn't. So, uh, I mean, Blue Eyes, then Ajamas, VWXYZs. Predator Plan? Yeah, yeah. That fusion, Cyber Dragon? That fusion bastard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. There'll be stuff to print in there. Um, but that does bring us to the question part of the podcast. Uh, yeah. So, our brag is oh, no. about Roger Slifer. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like, didn't he die? Sorry to the family of Roger Slifer. Fuck, it's been a while, though. Yeah. I don't know who Roger Slifer is. The namesake of Slifer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Slifer, the executive producer. Oh. The famous gag. Um, but that does bring us to our questions. Of course, uh, down in the description below, there is a link to our Discord. You can head over there, have a lovely chat to the people there, as well as leave us a question. Uh, Jake has sent us a bunch of questions that are the ones he rejected to read last week. I am not a person like Jake. I will read your questions. Oh, uh, so are you going to clean up his mess or I'm just leave it another week? Yeah. <laughs> I could just leave these another week and be like, these are your, these are your questions yeah. to ask. Um, but first question we have here from Jesse. Uh, Konami has reprinted Altergeist, the best Tom's TOS format deck into the ground recently with both High Rarity, CR Faker, and Gold Rare main deck. Uh, much of the confusion of Altergeist enjoyers, what deck would you actually... Or, sorry, much to the confusion of Altergeist enjoyers. Uh, what deck would you actually like to see get this treatment? Not just reprints, but so much... Uh, eventually everyone owns all the cards. I think I skipped a word there at the end. But hey, here we go. What deck? What <sighs> deck do you want to see reprinted into the fucking ground? I mean, I'm always cautious to do it because then I lose track of those cards. If a deck is printed to shit, then I'm, I'm naturally going to... It's harder to find for me for some stupid reason. You stop caring about it and it goes yeah. to bulk. Yeah, and then it it's gone forever. Like, so like with Sword Soul, like I should have at least two Sword Soul decks. Right. Where they are now? No idea. They're on Master when you enter your code. Uh, still, still disenchanting some of those. For the, <laughs> just going, oh, what should I get rid of next? Who's cut? Could play Sword Soul, I guess. Someone is, isn't it? It's an option. You can play Shifter. Uh, no, J no, no, Jake's playing on Master Tool. None made it to day two of uh, UD of, I keep going to say UDS. Because it's in Vegas, I just think it's a UDS. Yeah. Uh, YCS. Harry? Um, reprinted into the dirt. Um, maybe Burning Abyss, just because I haven't owned the cards since, since Block Dragon BA. But people I've seen are experimenting with uh, transaction rollback because mm. you mill it. You do you. Yeah. Mill shenanigans. Makes sense. Makes sense. Just maybe. the first thing that comes to mind. But yeah, aside from that, maybe maybe the marketer stuff just as well because I've got to <laughs> I've got to find that again if I want to rebuild Earth Machine. I'm sure. Sure. Just, just sitting there. Yeah. Never wanted to play it outside of the meme fucking mill deck that I yeah. played the yeah. MTK. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's still there. You can play with gadgets. Oh, I would. I, I have an answer that I think would be the most appropriate. I'd love to see all the um, uh, Skull Servant white stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just give us a, a side set where it's all there in foil. One, one of my favorite. Oh, one of my favorite decks to play just as a gimmick was like the Danger Skull Servants. Yep. Because there were a couple that if they just hit the graveyard by any means, they'd just just start binning them. Just start binning them. There's like draw a card, bin one. Now you've got a body to link with, and you just do it like through so yeah. I'm always so surprised at how expensive that deck is, considering it's close to all commons. Yeah, like, yeah, because um, back in the day they were just short prints. It's like Lady in White and White Man were short prints in their yeah. respective sets, I yeah. believe. White prints was annoying as well. I remember yeah. having I had a couple of those. I sold for good money. Yes, I sold cards, Jake. 
Uh, dangers you could print into the ground. Yeah. yeah. Put, print yeah. them so I just know where to find them. I haven't been putting them in every structure deck lately. So. Yeah. 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 But I want them all in the same. <laughs> Danger structure? The, the, the danger structure is just play sets of each danger. <laughs> just let me buy one structure for 20 bucks and be done. Yeah, like... A, a, what are you going to do, FTK a child? Yeah. <laughs> uh, obviously, any decks from this year would be appreciated. Your Pearlies, Rescue Ace, whatever. Well, you're getting Pearly printed in the ground. Yeah. Well. It's in Rarity Collection. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah okay. Well, is it all going to be in Rarity Collection, though? Mm-hmm. Also, I mean, they're not even that expensive, right? No. My, my friend's like five bucks. Well. I've s- literally today on the sales and trade Facebook, I saw an old Hippo Lily going for 15. Like, I'd almost get that just so it looks nice. Yeah. That poor cat needs a home. Like, they've just, everything's just tanked. Like, it's like people have looked at the Sleepy Memory to two and gone unplayable. Yeah, not only is the deck like significantly worse now, it is just hard counted by that one guy at the corner at Locals playing Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> you pair him, you lose. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Game's over. detach the materials. No matter from how it. well you open, you lose. Yeah. <laughs> The cat got to stay away from the goblin mode. Yeah. Um, for me, it's Dark Magician. I think they should just print every single Dark Magician card into the ground at every chance they get. But I'm just sick of seeing Dark Magicians every time there's a new product. That's fine. It's self, Print it though. into the ground. But I need I need the rest. I need the illusions, the souls. I need all them coming out. Which they have printed them. Yeah. But I want them again <clears throat> in a product that I'll buy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put them in a mega tin. Put them in something that's... A structure deck that has Dark Magician's face on the front of it, like you did in Asian English, that we just don't have. We have to have a mega tin chat eventually. These tints, like, are borderline sh- like poo now. No, like, like they are bomb. Uh, this mega tin's actually aged pretty well. No, but like, it's the you find like deceptively expensive things in there. But it could have more packs. It could be good, cheaper. Well, we, we were both like, around. It could just be good. We were both around when the Megatins first started as a concept, but like, oh yeah, the actual Megatins in 2014 with Legacy of the Valiant. I was gonna say we talked about the tins from in those 2005. Big, uh, no, oh yeah. Look, th- what we got now is better than back then, where it's just oh here's some single boosters and one promo. Yeah, I just was buying those tins for the promo. I just wanted the Jizno. I was like, yes, buy, 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 buy. They were 30 bucks. Have money for this. They were 30 bucks, weren't they? I had no concept the Jiznos, of the Jiznos were sold. I had to have XYZ Dragon Cannon, which I tried to play. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of okay. And then I got absolutely dumpstered by zombies. <laughs> That's uh, the way it goes. Zombies, print them into the ground. I'd love to see, like, a playable zombie archetype. Probably. Like, That's not Shiranui. Not Shiranui, not my Akashi. Or Vendred. You, what, you had your saying. chance with Vendred. Do that better. Let me put Zombie Master into a deck. <laughs> That's all I ask. <laughs> they should have made Vendred so, like, whatever. If you tributed a zombie from hand for the ritual summon, the monster comes back. Yeah. Yeah, something like. like give just them something cute like that. Anything. Literally anything as rituals. Make them zombies. Even, like, these ritual. Like, even for, like. Rituals are so bad that we have Voiceless Voice still sucks, even though they don't need the ritual spell. Yeah. They can just summon themselves, and they still suck. <laughs> just make them broken. Uh, maybe not Necroz broken. What about Drytron? I, I didn't even know they were rituals. <laughs> they are. What? They do one. They have, oh. they have two rituals. They summon one of them sometimes. It's a Cyber Angel deck. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. see the Cyber Angels and go, oh yeah, yeah. They're, <laughs> they're playing Drytron. Am I going to read them? No. <laughs> yeah, still I... Uh, still um, couldn't tell you. Same. How much... Uh, the big attack... Like, so the main one they summon... It has 3,700 attack. 4k. Close. Cyber Angel? Or, sorry, Drytron. Drytron. 4k. 4k, because um, the, the ritual summons are based on the attack value of the monster attributed. And the more you know. Or the Drytrons are 2,000 attack. We'll now find out the level next week. If you nib them, the ritual spell doesn't resolve. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you also I'm... can't ritual summon relinquish because it has zero attack and you can't overpay the cost. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I don't read them. Oh, I'm gonna relinquish with this. Get out of here. Yeah, give us relinquished proper archetypes. Yes. Not that. Those the relinquished fusions is way too much for how shit it is too. Well, it's not actually not that bad. I just want to pre prep for relinquished and have it feel good. Yeah. Like, um. Sorry. Next question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next question from Rai Guy. Um, what do you think are some of the most forgotten card effects on popular cards? 
Um, I'm thinking it's like Zeus that you can attach from deck, or how Coldblind negates for the next turn. Um, he, there's a little bit written at the bottom here that Jake's also screenshotted, but I think it's irrelevant. I read some common staples. Oh no, I read some common staples today and totally forgot about some extra text on them. Um, yeah, what is a card that constantly comes up in your games that does a second thing that you just don't acknowledge? Zeus attaches. Yeah, Zeus I attaches. I remember that from Earth Machine. That that was relevant to my interests, so I remember that. Um, off the top of my head, I can't th can't think of one, but. Because yeah, like I don't even read like I mean well, I don't even read the cards. It's just the card does all of that, <laughs> and usually I mean there's not that many superfluous effects. That's a good question. Uh, one that I have to constantly remind myself of is that if SP banishes, they can't attack directly that turn. Yeah, which is very important. Very. Because I've seen people like going for SP effect to banish on summon and then going to the battle phase trying to end the game. It's like, or it's a case of my opponent does that and I just scoop because yeah. I think they're going to attack me for game. Yeah, but they can't. Um. Also the same as like Runix. Often I'll I'll scoop when my opponent starts to get the slightest bit of Runix yeah. advantage. And I'm like, oh wait, you can't attack. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Um, but not if, not even can't attack. You can't go to the battle phase. It's like yeah. I've, I like, thought you were um, to get your time back. I learned I learned the hard way. It's like because I, I did it against you. If I Runic tip in the draw phase to avoid draw, I will not get to evenly on that same turn. Yes. And it's just like, <laughs> yeah. Um, not necessarily an effect that's forgotten, but the the way it functions as well is because you skip your battle phase. You've never entered it. You don't get a main phase two. You proceed straight to end phase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You once you're done, you're done. Also, you can't you can't even play runic uh, Valkyries and go no. got a goddess into no. the next battle phase. Completely unplayable. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think for me, it's it's the fact that um, new chick Dark Witch. Yeah. Diablo Star uh, sends from face up field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I do that, my opponent's like, "That sends from face up field." I'm like, yes. Mm. I didn't need a card. because oh, for the for the brief period when I was playing Fire King with Tanky, it was like Dear Bell Star plus Tanky was insane. It was like just search Avada, normal it, send, send the Tanky, summon Dear Bell Star. Yep. And then like the whole combo is insulated. It's a free card. Yeah. Literally free. Right? I'm I'm actually annoyed that I haven't thought of anything. It's actually a really good topic. The prosperity half damage? Well, I only owned Prosper like six yeah. months ago. Yeah, well there you go. And by then, I knew. That's that's good. I'm gonna get back to that. Oh, I mean, duality we used to forget every now and then. Which actually, this kind of comes up with the next question. Uh, the if next that is question. if that is the true next question from six i six. Uh, yeah, which is weird. This yeah, do the six i six question. Uh, when making a sandwich slash toast, um, what do you do with this? Oh, we asked this question. Yeah. We did that one. Yeah, yeah. and we called you a coward. Man doesn't have raw Vegemite off the knife. You gotta do it across the tongue. If it's got the butter there, it's fine, but not straight Vegemite. And that's why I called you a cow one. Your bloodline it's, ends with you. It's too Toast good. profile on the channel, go and give it a like. Tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're doing another one? Oh god no. Do Just... do Marmite this time. Never that. Did you ever uh, did you ever give me Marmite? <laughs> I don't think I did. I, I gave, I gave okay. you Yorkshire pudding though, didn't I? Oh, turn, turn the hole with the, with the oh, sausage. God, turn the hole. I just grew up with turn the hole as well. Oh, yeah. What do you do with a smidge of egg from the leftovers of turn the hole? <laughs> oh, I'm talking English turn of the hole, which is the sausages with the, the Yorkshire pudding. What's the toad, though? Sausage. Because it all. Are you looking toad? <laughs> is, does egg look like a toad? A little. <laughs> <laughs> it's water based. <laughs> Lobby. It's got yolk in it. Just make the sausage out of frog. Yeah, frog sausage. <laughs> um, next question comes from Jesse. Uh, what soft cheat have is the most sorry, What soft cheats have been the most significant in your dueling history? Uh, for example, he has been Nibiruing people after Darth Star after Dark Lord himself in August. Yeah, the the duality one I just mentioned is probably I'm sure has come up. Um, I I think there would there would have been I'm sure a dupe frog mistiming. Oh, sorry, did you? Yeah, I'm sure there's a dupe frog mistiming that I'm sure I've missed. Oh, in the past. yeah. Just trying to think off the top of my head. Like dupe frog mistiming, as if you you resolve the timing. Like 
Both more, more, ways. I'm probably there's times where it probably is, and I'm just like, oh, I don't care. Well, that's me nine times. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm I'm like, run over by battle. I ain't so. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, early on where it's been like, you know, toad send dupe dupe surge, like, nah, it doesn't work. It's not in chief. Yeah. Nah, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Imagine if that's how it worked. If that card didn't miss timing, would be insane. Would they have been dupe from? No. But still. Um, soft cheap. I feel like I definitely have one of these. I just can't think of it. Well, that's um, the problem is like where it's, it's, it's so innocuous that we don't remember it. Yeah. Right, so. It's one that I've been like, that I've regularly done though. That's my thought. I wonder if that light's catching my face. Oh well. Uh, draw, what's the extra of, um, drawback? Uh, no drawing. Uh, start of main phase one. Yes. That as well. Yeah, no, extra. I've definitely like I've, I've <laughs> almost always been pulled up on it, where it's just like I'll just rush something and go, oh, then extra, and it's like, oh shit, actually no. Was... I cut that card just for that sake. Yeah, I like, I don't, I don't want to one of them play around something and but I've had to activate the extra first. No, <laughs> not doing it. Also, just random banishes. Yeah, can't risk it. I think that there have been times I, I've I've always caught myself, but it's uh, resolving gigantic sprite and then going for mannequin cat on an ash blossom, which is level three. Yes, no work like that. Yeah, no, nah. no, no work. Uh, but then you also catch people that forget the sprite block effects of both people and then drive to Nibiru. Yes, no work like <laughs> that. Does not. You have nib in your hand and they go into the gigantic. Too bad. <laughs> That's actually kind of screwed that like that yeah. people look at that card and go, no, it's. A restriction that's for you that yeah. then spills over the opponent. It's not meant to be a lock card. Yeah, it's like I, I remember <laughs> playing against Chad once, and because my hand was suboptimal, I had to go straight for the gigantic sprite. And he's just sat there like, "You've you must have the sickest read to know I've got the beer in hand." I'm like, <laughs> "Dude, my hand is dog shit." <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm sure there's one. If you go back and watch matches on the channel. You're probably going to find me doing something at some point. Just, just check I've the comments. They come up once every couple of weeks. Read the comment section of every video I've ever posted. You'll find stuff. Drive up engagement. Playing four trading. A <laughs> Um Next question from Rye Guy. Uh, what, so, somewhat the opposite of Jesse's question. What is the most often commonly need to affirm others when you're playing your deck? Uh, recently he's had to tell people that uh, Nibiru does not his tribute his face down ninjas and that his trap can indeed tribute their face down cards. Um, I guess coming back to what we, we spoke about earlier, uh, Diablo Star being able to send from field. Yeah. Um, so you can have your face up continuous and just go send, done, let's go, I'm off to the races. Um, that's probably been my most recent one that I've had to refer my opponents of a lot. Um, weirdly lately I've been making the issue of like, Viking cards and stuff that don't target. Yeah. Like, reaffirming a target to my opponent, even though I don't have to. Yeah, I, I think I've done that before where it's like, I've... Also playing Fire King, I think we've played against each other, and you've gone to do the the Kirin Reborn, yep. which isn't just a Reborn, because I can do it from hand as well, and I've yep. asked you for a target, yep. and it doesn't declare a target. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, like, it came up against Jake on, on Tuesday when I lost, where yeah. I've gone like, uh, Kirin, target. Don't need to say a target, and then he can just fuse away my target. Yeah. And I'm like, I didn't need to save the, the target here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then he very explicitly said, okay so that targets and I went yes <laughs> and then read it and was like it doesn't but I've told him it targets and he's made a decision based on that yeah so um, we will continue <laughs> the other thing for me today was just like explaining how branded lost works with branded fusion it was like you can ash it because you're not negating the activation of the effect you're yes. just negating the effect certainly you can do the old dodgy dodgy yeah as they say in France you do the dodgy dodgy yeah um, now to check discord for the rest of the questions that Jake will not get a chance to read Which you can find in the description below. Still in the description down below. So we go to the podcast questions. Um, scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, here we go. Uh, question again from Jesse. How does Rush Duel, uh, How is Rush Duels doing, and can you bring some decks for the jam in Sydney? I already responded to this, saying, only real duelists Rush Duel. So yes. Yeah, I I'll, bring, I'll bring my one. I'll, pr I'll bring the proper translations, I promise. I won't bring the dual disc and... Duel in public. I'm not doing that. Sorry. I'll bring the decks. No problem at all. I'm not bringing the duel list. I need to change my deck and got hit on the ban list. God damn it. Uh, I'm not a rush duelist, so I'm being evicted from the podcast. Because I'm not a real duelist. No, there needs to be one of us. 
That doesn't play. You've taken over the Jake. As long as you're, you're playing not... purple cards, you don't like Rush Tool. Same oh, no. thing. Same same. Soon he'll yell a slur and get us demonetized again. How old are you? I'm 26 in June. He can't be Jake. <laughs> He's younger than Soldier Boy. <laughs> By a lot. <laughs> By a margin, yes. Also taller. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next question coming from Jesse. Uh, of the C for G boys, casting your minds back to 2018 Yu Gi Oh! Who's spending $200 on Ash Blossoms and who's getting Gumbla looped? Uh, I am the one doing the Gumbla loop and I have not spent $200 on Ash Blossom because I'm an idiot. I remember walling into the YCS uh, where I needed Ash Blossoms and being like, I was buying sealed product. So I bought like booster boxes from Cherry. Yeah. The first time Cherry Collectibles ever fucked me. Uh, I then got there and they're like, oh, sorry, we, for we forgot. Um, we're just going to open some special editions and give you the loose packs. And I was like, bruh, what, what is this? Not how that works. What is this? Get I proceeded to pull no secret rares. It was like... So I was doing both. I bought two secret Ash Blossoms from Game Cave. Yep. And then when... Blake went to well when the guys went to YCS um, and Blake was with Floss at the time she had it in Ash and I lent her too and as courtesy she gave me the third one oh just, nice just for that so I'm like I, I, I think I might have bought it and just like got it for like 50 bucks so all up I would have spent like 230 that's pretty good and then at one point I was playing um, uh, Gumball Hero and do the combo and then in your opponent's turn <clears throat> you rip two in your turn, and your opponent's turn, you summon Dark Law to the zone, and then they're ostensibly just banishing two from hand. Yeah. Like, I... Yeah, I was... I went hard into you, Link, Gumball, Link, do whatever the fuck. I really enjoyed that. And then there was, like, the the event before it all got banned. Yeah. I was like, I want to play this for one last time, because the balance had been announced, and I proceeded to not put half the cards I needed into my deck. Sat down, it was like a... LLDS, I think. Yeah. Like, it was, like, state champs. And I sat down and was like, I don't have any cards in my main deck to actually resolve this combo. I've, I've just put a bunch of cards together to be like, haha, let's go. Nope. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> I was, uh... Yeah. And then I worked went, very well. Then I took one of my many hiatuses from the game and came back with the release of Dark Storm to play uh, Mystic Mind Burn. <laughs> <laughs> I bought CP Super Wave Motion Cannons for that day because they're the only ones I could find. <laughs> Fun story. I still, from that hiatus, I still use the Saiyuja that I bought off you. Oh, I forgot. I, I very specifically, <laughs> if I'm playing one Saiyuja, I use the one that I got off you. Bless. I'm like, the other two, they sit in the binder. <laughs> if I'm playing one Saiyuja, I use the Harry Saiyuja. I, I remember I played two tournaments with Zoo. Because that's when Ash came out, yeah. And so the we next year. Oh, that was twenty seven. Next year. The next year. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's the, that's the YCS year. I'm playing Pend. Twenty eighteen, uh, like March. Because that, yeah, Mar that was Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. Early twenty eighteen was also Sky Striker. Mid twenty eighteen was Sky Striker. Yeah, it was mid to early to yeah. mid. Yeah. Because early was still the leftover from. So we went. Uh, what's the deck? Spiral. So when yeah. Spiral into FTK format, yep. into Striker, into Link's Gobo. Oh, so, so Ash just hadn't been reprinted up until that point. It got reprinted in, in like in the, the salad? Legendary Collection Kyber set. Yes. Oh. With uh, yeah. uh, as Ultra. Because I never had. The, I mean, I had one of the original. It was short printed in that set. Yeah. Like dramatically, and then they printed it again later that year as a super in Battles of Legend. Yeah. Oh, Heroes, yeah, Heroes that's Revenge, right. Yeah, uh, I think. Yeah, whatever. Uh, was Shadows and Valhalla. Ah, yes, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yes. But still. SHBA, yeah. Yeah. And then the Salomon Great Destruction Day. Yeah. Yeah. That was the set. That was the Ash Blossom that I used. Yeah. Was I finally got the super when I was like, finally. <laughs> I was like, I'll buy a box, it's a super, I'll get heaps. I pulled one, and they were like, oh yeah, sure, print it as a super as well. I was like, sick. Uh, yeah, so I like, I mean, I so much didn't want to spend money on, and also that FTK combo just, I didn't like it. It just wasn't the game for me. Yeah. And I went and played Pokemon Go for... I think, I think for a brief years. period as well, <laughs> um, 
I don't think it was that far, but the whole firewall was wasn't limited. <clears throat> just doing Infernity FTK because I'm like I just want to play Infernity and Amazonas Archer just does damage, so we'll do that. Yeah, but a little bit of burn. We had fire firewalls running around. It's yeah, like, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, good times. Bad times. Tom probably would have bought it on release though. Wouldn't have played him. Would have bought him. And I respect that. I wonder where those ashes went. I should have bought ashes at launch. Don't know why I didn't. Yeah, it. Well, I don't know why I was pulled back then, but hey, here we are. Like, yeah. Also, it, well, not poor. I mean, obviously, you can let, I can sell fucking. It's still my television if I really wanted to play it. Uh, that's like when I just had had my knee done, so I had like oh, just spent five grand God. on a new leg. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Actually, I had like a, a a teeth around a teeth shit a few years ago where I'm like, oh great, I can't do anything. Yeah, how good's uh, healthcare? It's not all roses over here, but yeah, sometimes insurance covers a hundred dollars of your very critical surgery, so you can walk. But at least it's not. As expensive as it could be. It's expensive. Uh, uh, side rant. So, uh, at basketball, the insurance is literally written on toilet paper. Um, you. This is relevant because Bragg's on this insurance at the moment. Because Bragg's playing basketball. And I'm the one who's going to fucking need it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if uh, Medicare covers $1, they cover zero. Well, lucky. I mean, I'm, I'm set then. <laughs> yeah. I don't oh, know okay. where my Medicare card is. <laughs> as soon as they stop co-pays, I'm like, well, if I'm going... Pr- like, if if you're going to make me pay half of it, I'll just pay all of it. Fuck you. I, 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 had to, I had to fuck around when my Medicare expired because me and my dad have the same name. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no. <laughs> it's like, no, it's the one and the twos. Yeah, well, that's it. It's always been a nightmare because, like, any time I order Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well, it's just like they come in the mail and it's got my name, which is his oh, name, yeah. And because I changed, I, I, a couple months ago, I changed my Facebook name to Drop the Junior. Yeah. Yep. So when they address it to me, they don't put the junior. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like my dad knows it's all my stuff anyway, but uh, a little Just bit gives it a bend. He's like, ah, oh, cardboard. Yeah, I'll leave it. A little, little bit of Harry history. When Yu-Gi-Oh sales was a thing, I bought a playset of Firewall on release for 150, and they sent it with an invoice, and my dad opened the letter. And he was ready to crucify me for spending my own money that I had earned on cardboard. And that's where you turn around and go, no, but seriously, these are going to go up. <laughs> Over the years, the amount of cards I told my parents I had won. Oh, I, I just told like, oh, I, I, I want it. Or, you know, it's expensive, I want it. It's, yeah. all, it's all 20 bucks. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I mean, I have the opposite problem. So, like, they'll use my Facebook. Like, even though I'll put my real name in, like, in the address. So yeah. when they have read my address, which is my work, they should use my name. Delivery nope. for Bragg Zuckerberg. No. Yep. <laughs> going, why is Zuckerberg? I'm like, because I hate him. <laughs> he ruined Volkanovsky. I hate him. Next question. Next question. Uh, comes from Smithy46. Uh, <laughs> hypothetical. You get to create one card that is absolutely breaks an archetype, but as a result, the deck gets banned and into unplayability. Uh, what? Uh, are you picking a deck that you love so that you can enjoy some time in the top? at the top? Um, or are you picking a deck that you hate so you never have to see it again? I'd pick a deck that I'd love. Yeah. I'd pick Frogs because they already hit it and I want to play it again. <laughs> it's better to have loved and lost. Yeah. Than to have your deck ruined by a ban list. In- Infernity's been unplayable for a decade. I don't mind if it gets banned again. What do you mean, Harry? It's all at three. It's right there. It launches at three? It's right there. <laughs> How do you break it? Just goes. Just, just activate just, two launches from the deck. Just infernity, <laughs> infernity, Lavavel chain. Just, just give them Lavavel chain at two or three. <laughs> give them a link to that lets you uh, banish your hand, uh, set four spells and traps from deck, and then when you resolve a spell card, add back all banished cards to your hand. <laughs> you give them a link one that on summon puts a continuous spell into play. Infernity Continuous Spell, and then also give them a Continuous Spell that says you can activate the effect of Infernity cards while you have cards in hand. Yeah. That's the only way to make them playable, because they, they they can't play hand traps, you need to dump the hand. But I don't know how you would problem-solving card text that into existence. You give them Infernity Launcher 2. You can add it's it's Infernity just, Duo Launcher. It's just literally Infernity Launcher 
verbatim, but with a two at the end of the name. Could you... Like functional MTG reprints. Could you, like, um, I was about to say Exile. Could you have a thing where you banish it, like, so you can just stash them for later, sort of? Yeah, the, the only problem is, like, you'd ideally want to, like, banish them until the end phase to get them back in hand, but then as soon as they're in hand, your break and your barriers are... No, I say, no, oh, oh. we're <laughs> leaving banish. Yeah, you can yeah. activate yeah. from banish. Yeah, okay, yeah. That'd be all Yeah, you can banish it. your card, and then, because yeah. that's literally a magic card, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, like scroll rack or something. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. But give us that. <laughs> Brand? Banish from deck. Do you want deck, Brand? Oh, Thousand Eyes. Just, just give me something. Give him something that plays yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousand Eyes Idol from deck. That's not yeah. unexpected die. Well, it, it's going to, it needs a whole bunch. I just want a monster that... Millennium Eyes is strict, but it's actually a... It's not an activated effect, it's just a continuous effect. And just takes. <laughs> Oh, you activate? Take. Mine. Oh, it's negated. Mine. Mine. I was going to say is Anima the most played relinquished card ever, but no, it's definitely just Thousand Eyes. Any, any card sent to your opponent's grave is placed in your spell and trap instead. Yeah. Even at points where Anima's good at the moment, people still will go into Link Revo. Man's like... <sighs> the amount of people that I punish with Anima is... Like, like, Anima. People just play into it. I don't know why. I punished Jesse today with it. Like, he just ended on a Quirtus after I hand-trapped him. I was like... Take. <laughs> like, I will deliberately put Albion into the EMZ, the, the new one. Yeah. Because it can't be targeted by opponent's card effects. Yeah. So, like, I will deliberately put it there to watch someone anima and be like, can't target it. <laughs> you wasted your anima now. It's gone. Um, next question uh, comes from Rai Guy. Uh, do you consider Yu Gi Oh a good game for meeting people? Yeah. In our uh, community, yes. If yeah. I travel, no. <sighs> I'm... There's a, there's a lot of people that I see that I'm... I'm very aware. fortunate in that all of my closest friends I've met through our locals specifically. That's why he keeps coming back. It, honestly, because like, if I if I didn't play the game, I would go to work and then I would go home and play League of Legends and be on Suicide Watch. Like, I... I half the reason I play Yu-Gi-Oh! is just to see friends. Like, there's other hobbies you can do, but you've got to get into them, and that's yeah. a whole bunch of money, and I've already spent all the money on this Because, like, I was, I was playing Commander at Locals as well, and they are just not comfortable with people playing decently powered decks, let alone high powered. Because there's that whole talk about, you know, power level and how it's subjective and shit like that, and it's like, yes, so none of us can come to an agreement on what's a 7. Oh, it's like uh, one meta ban list never... Work. Yeah, well, that's it. I went to a magic tournament for Commander once and sat down with a. Like, I have a fairly good Commander deck. I sat down and my opponent was like, oh, you know, I'm going to take out my, my good stuff then. And I'm like, I have played Magic the Gathering once before today. Here we go. I got <laughs> dragons. That, no, I, your deck, like, it's it's powerful, but it's not like. It's not oppressive in the way it of. It's eight turns. It's not doing all. Oh, I have twenty tutors for the card that destroys land. Like, yeah, yeah. Where it's it's not the toxic way. It's yeah. The yeah. which uh, you can kind of get that new gear as well. It's like, well, no, the deck's doing what it's meant to do. It's not doing you know an FTK, but then yeah. again, <coughs> but yeah, back, back to FTKs. FTK, <laughs> back to the the subject of um, meeting people. If the already established community that you're meeting is good, then obviously it's great, but you won't know until you try. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. every locals I imagine has a, a clicky sort of thing, and you just got to work work around that. But for the most part, it is it is a good game. There's enough socialization, but there's also there's so many shit people out there in the world. Not just in Yu-Gi-Oh. Everywhere. They're everywhere. I'm Particularly glad I, I'm glad I got them. Um, but, yeah, like... There's good people around. I would consider it a good game to meet people. But, you know, maybe we're just the lucky ones. Maybe. <laughs> um, next question comes from Jesse. Uh, considering the approaching Australian YCS, how would you approach regular Yu-Gi-Oh! celebrities and pro players? Uh, how would you famous individuals like, <laughs> individuals like to be approached? Uh, given that Harry's become a regular feature here in the past couple of weeks, uh, Harry prefers... Crisp high five in the morning the moment he wakes up. So if you want to approach me, give me cards that you want banned because it'll just happen. Yeah. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I'm happy. 
<laughs> Someone's gonna make a fucking shrine at YCS. Sir, take this. I mean, we're gonna think take about how we're doing. This it. <coughs> we'll, talk, we'll talk about how we're gonna do the podcast and announce what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna come up well, with a that, as well. there's only like one, one, one more. Week so one more this. next um, week we'll announce what we're doing. We're gonna do it live in the venue. We've got the fucking mics. We'll figure out. Like same yeah. thing we did for. But more of us saying that we we let a couple people. We let the people know. Oh yeah, sit. of course. Yeah, and watch us like the. Because I really like that. You ask your questions in person. You don't get to ask it on Discord that week. You ask your questions in person. The Oceanic one was really good, so I kind of want to get that energy back. Uh, how to approach me? It all depends. Like, some points I'm like mentally exhausted and can't really talk to anyone. So, uh, like, I'll play that. But I don't know, just talk to me. Okay. Be be normal. Be yeah. people. Say hello. Introduce yourself. Yeah. If you're a female, give Jesse Cotton a hug. hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure over first time. First and last time. I'm sure over time he's he's chill with that now. But it was very funny to watch the first time. <laughs> very funny. Um, yeah, just be nice people. Um, anyway, last question. Coming from our uh, frozen acetylene. I don't know if you're a new question asker, but hello. Yeah, it's How's it going? Familiar name. Welcome. Uh, out of the four archetypes that received support in Terminal Revenge, which one do you think, uh, which one do you like the most or the least? It's Inferno. I like it the most. I'm very excited for when that deck comes. Inferno as well. Yeah. Yeah. I just kind of don't like. What What else is getting in the support? Uh, uh, Ice Barrier. Um. Uh, is it? No, it's. Oh, is the wind gets banned? You know. People complain. My deck's expensive. It got banned. It did cost you five bucks. People gave it to your locals. That one. Um, Ritual Beast? Is Ritual Beast coming? Yeah. How did we get there? I was just giving myself the story of how Ritual Beast works. That's a great video. Yeah, I, I, I picked up on that now. Moments yeah. in Yu-Gi-Oh history. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I've always found one Gen X, so maybe I'll just force myself to do Gen X stuff. The Gen X Link I, is good. The, the Link's the, the additional normal summon, isn't it? Is that the one? No, I don't think it's an additional normal summon. I think it just props again and like you just keep triggering uh, it's not once per turn so it's, it's, it's just if a gen x monster is added to your hand you can normal summon i think or am i getting it mixed up with something else maybe it's special summon not normal summon okay maybe so it's, yeah you <clears throat> add special add special add okay. special yeah that sounds right yeah yeah so it's probably going gen x because i hate the other three <laughs> i've got like i tried to give inferno to go and there was just something this is something that makes me angry about it. I don't know what, because I like decks that summon from the grave as well. I just always like the interaction that Infernoid had with Crusadia Equimax. You summon it to the zones, it gets really big, you can only attack with Equimax. Now after it's attacked, you just tribute it to banish something from the bin. And then yep. you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that will bring us to the end of the podcast for this week. I uh, hope it hasn't been too long for you, because I didn't check the timer. Uh, <laughs> after a while yeah, I think uh, also haven't checked the camera so there is a 50 50 chance that we are paper sketches that have been floating on the screen this entire time i could just be out of frame um, no you're definitely in frame i know you're in frame it's that i hit record but then i didn't check how much storage was on the camera ah. so here we are um again if you have any questions leave them down in the description below for the discord um leave a comment uh Bragg has a poll for you that's going to be asked on the beautiful audio channel and that poll is uh, I mean, well, which of the which of the call. revenge decks do you want? Yes, that question will be in the poll uh, down below. The answer is going to be inferno, isn't it? Wink. Um, and yeah, we will see you at YCS. Make sure you have your band cards for well, Harry. No, see you well, next week. See well, you next week. week. Then we'll see you at YCS. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Next week we'll have the coverage of the OTS championships at our local. Yes, we'll be coming off the back of OTS champs. Uh, I'm assuming you guys all have OTS champs in the same day. So uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck with your OTS champs. And we'll see you after. Uh, if you're sad when it's there, we'll be here. <laughs>